a runoff, a landslide victory, and more police officers. That's what Grand Prairie voters decided during a special election on Tuesday. In City Council District 3, three candidates were running for the seat left vacant by the death of Bill Thorne. His widow, Lila Thorne, and Kurt Johnson finished with the most votes, but neither of them collected 50% of the total based on the unofficial results. So Thorne and Johnson will face each other in a runoff on December 10th. In Council District 7, the unofficial returns show Jeff Copeland easily defeated three other candidates seeking the seat left vacant by the death of Ruthie Jackson. Copeland says he's humbled by the wide margin of victory for the citywide district. I, I'm, I feel blessed. I'm humbled. I didn't know if I'd get <laughs> one vote and to, uh, to win with this percentage. I'm humbled. Thank you, Grand Prairie. God bless you. Voters also decided to hire more police officers by using a portion of the sales tax collected by the Crime Control and Prevention District. The tax revenue is paying off the construction debt on the public safety building, but more revenue is being collected than needed for the debt. So the district asked voters for permission to use the extra money for new police officers. The city council will meet next week to certify the results of the election, and Copeland is scheduled to be sworn in on November 19th.